The AK range is hot and juicy, if you ask me. The AK range is where it's at. There's a lot of good names in here that, I mean, this was a hard range for me to even come up with a fade, to be honest with you. Charles Howell's bowed out, but you got Cam Davis at 8,900, Cameron Tringali at 88, Shesticle coming off his win at the Barracuda, Adam Long, JT Poston, two, two weeks removed from his win at the John Deere, Mark Hubbard has withdrawn, Brendan Steele at 8,300, Martin Laird, who'd finished, I think, runner-up or third at the Barracuda to Shez Reevee, and then he was Nick third. Hardy. Uh, the Alex Norton. Okay. Third. Yeah, that's right. So to me, the AK range has a ton of studs. I mean, the Love popular it. build is going to be balanced. Popular build is going to be balanced. Um, therefore, you know, the 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 contrarian play will be to use like Finau, Hideki, Sung J, and then bypass davis riley you know maybe grab one of these low eight guys and then go go do your thing but the balance build will be will be popular um and there's a ton of names in here that that i really do like you start getting to some of the names that are looking at the fedex cup standings including this week you have three more regular tour events you're going to see some of these guys playing their 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 ass off for the next three weeks because they're they're on the bubble right they're on that 125 bubble and if they don't get it in the next three weeks, it ain't happening. Um, and actually, one name in here who's been pretty popular lately and played really well, and he's the cheapest name in this range, is Nick Hardy at 8K. And he's been on a really good run. I mean, really good run. Good, Decent at the RBC Canadian. U.S. Open, 14th. Travelers, 8th. John Deere, 30th. Like, he's playing really well. But he still is outside of the top 125. He sits at 132 on the FedEx Cup standings. I think a lot of people will gravitate towards Nick Hardy. I think a lot of people will gravitate towards uh, possibly JT Poston. Two names that I love the most in this range, and I think both of these guys will probably be somewhat popular. Um, but the guy at 8,900, Cam Davis, you know I love me some some tall, lanky, Aussie drank of water. Mm -hmm. And he's his fellow countrymen take down the, the Claire Jug. He's a PGA Tour champion. Um you know, and playing well. Just finished sixth at the Barracuda Birdie Fest. Got him 34 Stableford points. I love Cam Davis. Uh, and I love Brendan Steele. And I do think both those guys are going to be popular. I really do. So, I mean, I think you could play. I think my favorite cash play would be Brendan Steele if you're only doing cash. But, I mean, it, you know, if I skip Davis Riley, I may play both Steele and Davis uh, in a lineup. Uh, you know, be willing to eat plenty of chalk here in this range because I like that many guys here my only fade is Shesticle, but just and it's you know i don't love shez Reevy to begin with like i never get too jazzed up about playing shez he's coming off the win that he needed to have like he really needed that he was out he was on the outside i think looking in he didn't have a whole lot of fedex cup points he, he, he needed the win it's probably a big sigh of relief for my guy and you know maybe he approaches this week a little different the ball striking has not been in, not been incredible. Uh, I mean, I hate to fade him coming off such a birdie fest at the Barracuda as well, but it's the one name in here that I just did not get too fired up about. That's the AK range for me. Well, I mean, I think um, we have some agreement here, but I, th I think this is a range that's very interesting. Like, I, I really think you could go with three guys in here in your lineup, and then I think that's what a lot of people are going to do. Yeah, and then spread it out from there to get if if you're in a GPP spread it out from there to try to get a little bit of lower ownership, you know, maybe go up to Mav or somebody like that. But I mean, I, I was a little surprised and maybe you were kind of saving him for me a little bit, but I, you know, I think Adam Long's a good play. I mean, you look yeah, at, I like, I, I like him. You look at the stats for him. I mean, he's top 25 in the field in ball striking top 30 in approach. Um, you know, he's, he's top 25 in driving accuracy, um, so I think that Adam Long makes a lot of sense. You also look at just his recent form. I mean, it, it's there. I mean, he was he's 13th and 25th in his last two events. He's got a great course history here with a 25th last year, second place in 2020. So Adam Long is one of those that I think you could really, you know, kind of center a lot of lineups around uh, in this range. You know, I'm, I'm with you, though. I, I love Cam Davis. I mean, he is – I think he's one of my favorite plays here. I, I like Tringali. I mean, when it – 
if if not here, when? When is Tringali gonna get, get a win? I mean, the guys all these names are names I had written down. Like I but and I truly there is one name in this whole range I don't like, and it's Chez Reevy. But I, I think Reevy's the only one that I could especially with with uh you know some of the guys that are dropped out, although I I would have probably liked Hubbard and Charles Howe if they'd stayed in this field. But um, you know, I like Nick Hardy. So I mean, there's really not I think you could not really go wrong with a lot of these guys, which is one of the reasons I think you could go with two or three here and then try to find some different leverage somewhere else. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good range. I, I, I like a lot of them. Listen to this. So I'm looking, I pulled up the top 20 odds available on DraftKings, and guess who? So Sung JM, Hideki Matsuyama and Tony Finau are obviously your top three in terms of top 20 odds. Guess who the fourth guy is. He's in this range. His name is Cameron Tringali. Tringali yeah. Plus 100. The same odds as Adam Hadwin. The next guy, or I'm sorry, wait a minute. Hold on. Well, let's see. Let's see. Let me, let me straighten this out. Okay. Yeah. Tringali. Same odds as Adam Hadwin and Mav McNeely. Then you get Davis Riley at plus 120. Adam Long at plus 130 alongside Cam Davis and Sahith Tagala. So, like, the top 20 numbers are the same for Tagala as they are for Davis, Long, they're worse than than Tringali or longer than Tringali. Um, Brendan Steele's up here. You know, I mean, it's it's interesting to see to see those top twenty odds as, as relative to these prices here. But I really do love this range. It's a very juicy range, very very juicy. I, yeah. Um, because after this, the seven and six K range gets real scary real quick. But before we move on. Uh, you know, Pat, I did have a chance recently uh, to hit a few PXG irons, which I'd actually never done before. Ooh. And I got to say, they're pretty sweet. We'd always heard that the PG PXG irons were pretty nice. We got a couple buddies on tour that play them. PXG makes world-class, high-performance golf equipment for golfers of every skill level. From their newest, most technologically advanced Gen 5 golf clubs to the more budget-friendly 0211 line of sticks, PXG delivers unbelievable quality, distance, forgiveness, and feel. And they don't just sell off the shelf. Every club is customized to fit your individual swing. That's key. We preach that all the time. If you want to get golf clubs, get fitted. No matter what handicap you are, get fit. Buy online at pxg.com by calling 844-PLAY-PXG uh, or by visiting a PXG store or fitting studio near you. PXG. Nobody makes golf clubs the way we do, period. Is that a pretty good Bob Parsons? I was, I was hoping you were going to try that. 